discuss with our national anthem, just twice, after which we take our national prayer, which is the second stanza of the national anthem. Then we proceed from there. So at the count of three, one, two, three. Arise, Position. 
when they request so that they can become leaders. You might be a youth today, but tomorrow, what is the plan to take this youth to become leaders of tomorrow? That's the reason you and I are here. Thank you very much. As I look forward to your work. So that uh, they make 
positive marks. So I say that this is a noble cause. Since the stakeholders are here, the various persons for this inauguration, could they be upstanding in there? There's one more thing. Can you make let's hear their names and the museum that you present so that we can know who we are interacting with? I would have asked that we I like I have attended several innovations. We do what we call the conference type, not this classroom type. Mm -hmm. I'm doing like a lecturer yeah. <laughs> teaching us. No, I wanted a participating thing. If sorry, please so yes, one more thing. Could we just yeah. come like this? <laughs> yes. Yes, let's come out to ourselves and uh, stand side by side with ourselves so that we know ourselves when you <laughs> please who else is part of us? Please, let's come out together. Because um, it's a work that we have to do together. So let's start the day together. Uh, not if I see you now, I will not see your eyes. I will not see your eyes. <laughs> My name is Teresa Mande. Who are you? Okay. Can you see my story? Okay. <laughs> I notice you have a lot of barristers. Yeah. Francis, how do you do? Help us, Ada. No, you talk to the microphone. I'm not sure it's a barrister. Help us, Ada. Professor, talk about that. I'm going to call us. I'm going to call us. I'm going to call us. I understand you the chief executive. <laughs> <laughs> My name is uh, Hello. My name is Simon Abba. I am Adoni Gabriel Go. So on behalf of our the Honorable Minister of uh, Humanitarian Disaster Management and Social Development, the Director General of uh, National Education Agency, who I'm representing now. Today, being the 28th day of July 2022, National Committee on the Interest of, on the, interest the, nation. of the Nation is hereby inaugurated in the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
I have the privilege to inform you today that this public committee has been mandated to lay ambush against the agenda of poverty in Africa. It is therefore pertinent to note that the worst disease in our society today is not leprosy or, ca or cancer. It is not tuberculosis, neither should we say it is not regretted and globally corroborated HIV A, but the feeling of hunger and poverty in the society. It is the feeling of joblessness, it is the feeling of unwantedness and rejection of the ordinary citizen in the society and by the same society. It is the feeling of poverty, it is the feeling of joblessness in the society. And this honorable committee is out to do something about it. And this is what actually necessitated our action here today, and our action is in the interest of the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, our action by extension is in the interest of democracy. Society for Youth and the Dark in Nigeria operate in a smoke-free environment and therefore have nothing to hide. What we are doing here today is totally in the interest of peace and peaceful coexistence. Our action is in the interest of the indivisibility of Nigeria as a nation and Nigeria as a people. Gentlemen of the press, our action is in the interest of the Nigerian economy. Nigerian economy as of today is characterized by consumption orientation. And the economy that is consumption oriented shall have nothing to save, nothing to invest, nothing to produce, nothing to consume in the long run, and hence vicious cycle of poverty in Africa. This honorable committee is out to do something about it. I stand here today on behalf of the board and the team of honorable members of our constituency across the globe to thank you, especially the members of this honorable committee, for submitting yourself to the rigor of serving the nation in this capacity. We have to this opportunity to congratulate you for being part of the initiative of Society for Youth and the Dan in Nigeria. Society for Youth and the Dan in Nigeria, as of today, remains the largest and, of course, the biggest civil network in Africa. And we are going to do everything humanly possible to sustain the temple. As a group, we have put in place all the necessary processes required for you to deliver on mandate. I want to strongly believe that those processes are more important than the outcome, since the outcome is just a mere byproduct of a valid process. On this note, we urge you to rescue the nation from the brink of total collapse and decay. But take note, to deliver on mandate, understandings of the nature of the society where we are operating is prima facie and circumstance. You are already aware that we are operating in a capitalist society, a capitalist society that is located in the Gulf of Guinea where basic opportunity for success and survival is not given, but deliberately such recognized and grabbed by prospective and aggressive individual. A capitalist society where what you know is not really matter what you know. We are operating in a capitalist society where you are waiting for somebody to tell you sorry, certainly you end up with sorry. We also wish to inform you that we are operating in a capitalist society where basic opportunity for success and survival is almost, if not already, in the lion's mouth. The question, therefore, at the moment is to what extent can the ordinary Nigerian, the vulnerable group, the dark group, the economically deflated segment of the society, withstand the pressure resulting from the capitalist struggle in the society? Is there not a cause? Is there not a need for mental and moral revolution on the part of every stakeholder to push the effect? I think this is what actually necessitated our action here today. And our action is in the interest of peace, democracy, and nation from the world. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, fellow Nigeria, we wish to inform you today that as a group, we do not only believe in the future of this great nation, but we are passionate about Nigeria of different human diversities. And this we are doing because it gives us a sense of joy and fulfillment as, as leaders. However, we shall continue to look back to see whether we can restore the glory of Nigeria of the 70s, where and where other Nigerians can work and have access to basic opportunity that can make him or her meet up with the hand-to-mouth working class status as Nigeria. We feel that this is the right way to go because the foundation of our past is the cornerstone of our future. And without the understanding of the past, it will be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to control the present. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, National Committee on the Interest of the Nation is a generational instrument of freedom and migration from all forms of political and economic oppressions of the people in West Africa and Nigeria in particular. By this honorable committee inaugurated today, I feel you have succeeded in recreating our world and it is allowed in the modern society. <laughs> may I have this opportunity to turn the lacrimi, the lacrimi of our modern society, who, despite your crowded schedule, decided to be part of today's event. We are grateful and will continue to be thankful. 
It is another opportunity to inform you that our activities is hinge on synergy with development partners. And it is on this note we are using this privilege to call for partnership from across the globe in order to deliver our mandate. Finally, my brethren, as a group, we are confident that Nigeria as a nation and Nigeria as a people will continue to work stronger and bigger into the future as an indivisible entity. Thank you and God bless you all. Long life, Long life National Committee on the Interest of the Nation. Long life, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Do not be surprised today. Uh, we are identifying with this flag today. Our identification with this flag today is part of our organization's mandate to recognize the commitment of these people to our common mandate, not necessarily in Nigeria, but also in many other parts of the world. Please join me. This, is, this flag belongs to the good people of Nigeria. I think we deserve a bigger. <laughs>
in respect of this. The social welfare packages, the feeding of the poor in schools are all part of this. But my question is, where do we go from there? If this government is out, this is this brings to a need for us to work seriously on this organization. Nigeria remains where we are because there has been no continuity. We want continuity in this system. That is the essence of life. We are here to build on the future of Nigeria. And I don't want any of us to be discouraged. This steering committee can go extra miles. I'm a member of Transparency International. I'm an anti-corruption crusader, and I have invite, invented models. I have invented models that are published to fight corruption. <laughs> organization will see that model being implemented here. If you are head of Pareto analysis, Ishikawa models, Donald Patrick models, my models are far ahead of these models. And I will work with the youths of this nation because life is about living legacy. Today, we are all living legacies because this organization will not go down. <laughs>